Right, you've literally just said you have a broken foot. Oh, I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day. What the heck, man? Hello, my name's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be reacting to my how I'm planning to sort my life out, get ready with me video that I posted in September. The background of this video was I got some Glossier makeup and I was getting ready for something. I don't know what I was getting ready for. Um, I think it was just going around to a friend's house in the evening. Throughout me getting ready in this video, I talked about how I was planning to sort my life out. So the plan for today's video is to see if I did any of these things. So. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and I vlog about health and fitness, study and a lot of dogs. Today what I'm going to be talking about is having a life reset, trying to sort my life out a little bit, going through stages and I'm also doing a sort of get ready with me as I go along. I have some new makeup. I have Glossier makeup because it is full sensitive skin, cruelty free and the medical students helped me choose the right shades for me when I was away. I worked in London last summer for a couple of weeks at a course there and the medical students on that course helped me choose some makeup. I've also noticed in this video I've got grey nails and they look quite nice, I like them. I'm uh, peach at the moment. Also my hair is not greasy, I'm fresh out of the shower, it is just still wet. So yeah. I'm going to start with the Glossier Priming Moisturiser and this is a buildable hydrating cream apparently. I think the first thing is planning. So I plan in my bullet journal and I write a monthly plan, a weekly plan and then write daily tasks of the day. And I have a 10 minute planner where I highlight in what I do in those 10 minutes but that's sort of retrospectively, so after I've done it. But I think what I'm going to look at is doing it prospectively and time block out is the plan. Then for the colour, I have this. Once I started my masters in September, I had less time to make beautiful bullet journals and things like that. So I actually use Notion instead. I tried time blocking for like, I don't know, like a couple of weeks on Notion, but I just found it a bit too tricky. Um, I am planning to do a video on how I was so productive last term. I literally have no idea how I do that, how I did that now, because I feel like a productive morning's when I, I don't know, when I'm just out of the house by eight o'clock, um, which before I was like out of the house by half seven with a broken foot and things like that. So yeah, I will, I will be doing a video on that. Perfecting skin tint. Oh, and I have it in G9. I don't really know what that means. I'm due to be starting my masters in sports and exercise medicine in Leeds on the 22nd of September is the induction day, but then like the work bit starts on the 30th of September. So my plan, I've gone through all the anatomy that I need to go over because anatomy is not my strong point. I literally spent days going through that anatomy we, I was having, I think I was having my garden done and yeah, I split it up into different sections of the body depending on the different study days. Used mainly Kenhub for the anatomy and yeah, tried to learn the different muscles and stuff. And then I've used the Oxford handbook of sports and exercise medicine um, on the BMA library to go through all the potential pathologies with each of the different parts of anatomy. I absolutely didn't do that. I did not have time or the inclination to do that. I learned it on the course, it was fine. And then my plan is to go over the lectures that I had in second year of the different anatomy bits because that's when we did all our MSK stuff and then just make a mind map around it of all the different pathologies and just give a brief overview of them. I then want to go over examination skills as well and I've got a subscription to British Association of Sports and Exercise Medicine and they send out journals every month that are interesting and also 
I'm signed up to this like Australian teaching thing through it and they've got examination skills so I'm gonna go through that and it's also CPD points. I've also been prepping myself by this year I've read a lot more books a lot more books yeah I've read more books and because I'm not very good at reading so I thought any reading would help. I'm also reading at the moment Jada Jade's book called The Only Study Guide You'll Ever Need that's given me insight onto how to learn, how to prioritise life. And I've also ordered Jack Edwards' book, The Universe, which is for undergrads, but still gives me an idea of what, what could help me. And Grace Beverly's book, I think it's called Working Hard, Hardly Working, of how to prioritise life because I'm going to be essentially working 56 hours a week come September. I love that I thought I was only going to be doing 56 hours a week. Oh, I think this was pre-taking on the second years actually, so that's fair. So I finished Jade, on Jada Jade's book. I really liked that. It's still on my productivity book case, which is just there. I got a lot of tips from her and I'm actually going to use some of them for revising for my MRCP exams as well. And I read Jack Edwards book, Whilst on a Sun Lounger in Ibiza, which was ideal. I started Grace Beverly's book. I didn't get very far in it. I just felt it was very much to be fair, I'm giving an unfair review because I've read like a fifth of it. I need to probably try again. But I felt it was very, life is really hard and it's hard to do everything and be everything. But I've done it and I've done it really well. But yeah, I need to give it more time to be fair. We're now at concealer. So this is this one. It just, I don't think it has a name. It's the concealer. It looks like that. And um, it's in G9 again. I just put it under here. And... I've got like spots on my chin. I think it's from not um, washing makeup off properly. The next thing I want to talk about is diet. I still have a lockdown mentality when it comes to diet, especially donuts. And just trying to be healthier, have more fruit and veg. I was vegan before. I just want to go a little bit more like plant-based, but to make sure I get in all of my nutrients as well at the same time. Eyebrows next. I've definitely cut down on my donuts, partly because my favourite donut company has stopped doing business, which is sad. I mentioned going more plant-based, so I did try that. My insides were not happy, um, let me say. So I, I'm more plant-based than I was, but I'm not completely plant-based at all. I've actually been working with a coach since starting my masters in September. Yeah, it's helped massively. I, I'm hoping you can tell the difference between my face shape I look more like an egg on that and less like an egg now, hopefully. So yeah, my diet has definitely, definitely improved. So this has been a game changer, this eyebrow guy. This one, this eyebrow guy that I'm talking about I actually have on today. It's the only makeup I have on, but I have the eyebrow guy. It's boy brow. There we go. It is the boy brow. Is that gonna focus? Boy brow. I have it in, ooh, what do I have it in? brown because even though my hair's blonde I have brown eyebrows so exercise my face is really close to the camera but I need to get close to the mirror for eyebrows so I have a broken foot I've been injured essentially since November last year yeah have a broken foot at the moment which obviously means I can't run however I've joined two women's cycling groups in town so I'm going out with them a couple of times a week I've also got um, I've stopped going out with cycling groups just because it was taking quite a lot of time when I started my masters and I just haven't got back into it because I'm very much a fair weather cyclist and it has not been fair weather recently. Recently? Recently. I've also got a gym membership for the council gym. So that also includes swimming, which I can do. Yes, I still have that membership. I also have a membership to the university gym because when I'm doing full days at uni, teaching I can go at lunchtime so I got a five month membership after Christmas for that I haven't been swimming very much I should probably do more of that because it's non weight bearing but and I'm doing strength training three times a week and I think I'm gonna try and work with a personal trainer ah uh, I think that's where my coach came in I don't know what strength training I was doing three times a week when this was filmed I don't think I was following any any particular program so it was very much ad hoc I imagine I'm still doing strength training three times a week now soon as well when she has the space it's coming back up again do you know what one eyebrow is darker than the other this always happens i've done my eyebrows so much better here than i have this morning how have i done that differently the camera is far better than the mirror oh look at that also i'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day 
Right, you've literally just said you have a broken foot. Oh, I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day. What the heck, man? So in, let me see my average step count. So in the last six months, I've done an average of 8,822 steps a day, which considering for some of that time, I did have a broken foot and only came out of cast in the middle of November. That, that's impressive, but why you're trying to do 10,000 steps a day on a broken foot is beyond me. Which is tricky with a broken foot, but I now have insoles in my shoes to hopefully fix the broken foot. I'm nearly three weeks into that. It's not, not painful. Highlighter, so I do this in two stages. So I do my highlighter here, which are apparently my brow bones first, then do my eye stuff and then do the highlighter down here. So this is Dew Effect Highlighter. I don't know if it comes in different colors. Halo Scope. Along with the exercise, I started getting into yoga like the back end of last year and early this year and I've just like stopped doing it. I just, I don't know why. But I use the Down Dog Yoga app on my phone and I just find it so good for following like daily yoga stuff. And I like, oh, it's called Yoga with Cassandra on YouTube and also I do some stuff of Oh, the lady with the dog. Yoga with Adrian. I'm gonna get back into that. So I didn't get back into yoga. I have started doing yoga again now, since January, because one of my friends um, is a yoga instructor. So I go to her classes, but I definitely did not do yoga at this point. Eyes next. I have Skywash. I don't think that's the color. I think that's the name of the... Uh, it's like, I don't know the name of the color is that color. I'm gonna look into mindfulness along with that. So this is something that the Unjaded Jade book talks about, concentration for this. And I bought a book from the works that has like different tasks to do with mindfulness. And I'm going to, I literally completely forgot about this book. I have not used it. It's still on my bookcase. To look at YouTube resources for that as well. So I just want to do that for like five minutes a day to slow down thinking. So that's the plan with that. I didn't do that at all. Uh, one of my friends, Ashley, got me a book for Christmas called Good Vibes, Good Life, and that talks about mindfulness in there. And I think the Down Dog Yoga app that I used before for yoga also has some mindfulness stuff. And also stretching. I need to stretch more. I got into a really good routine in the second lockdown of stretching for like 10 minutes a day. And it's nothing, 10 minutes is nothing a day, but I properly stretched out my hamstrings. I need to really stretch out my calves as well. I have not done that. I stretch after running. And that's about it. Especially with the foot thing. So that's another thing that I want to do. Right, let's rub this in. Okay, the next bit just needs like full on concentration. So a pro tip, this is the eyeliner and it's just fantastic, but I can't multitask when I'm doing eyeliner. Leb. Back to the highlighter again, the Haloscope guy. This eyeliner is far too much. The eyeliner is just too much on my face. I also, along with sort of diet exercise, just want to improve my sleep schedule. I absolutely have enough sleep a night. I'm averaging like eight and a half hours sleep a night. That's not a problem. But it's just the timing of it. I'm trying to get it to be more consistent. So I'm like going to bed and waking up at the same time. I'm hoping that's gonna help. So I feel like I am doing this at the moment. I pretty much go to bed at 10. Um, I do watch stuff in my room, which I know you're not meant to do before bed, but I can't sleep if it's quiet. But yeah, I have, I, I have been doing that. With general productivity, this is a um, bronzer. And I just put it under my cheekbones to give me some sort of definition when I look a little bit like a potato. And then also, money tracking. I used to be really good at this and wrote down in a book at the end of each day, like how much I'd spent, like the different categories that I'd spent it on. And it's just, it's, it's just like completely gone to pot. I have cloud paint. This is the blush and this is in puff. So my plan with this, because I'm wanting to like minimize the amount of stuff that I use so that when I'm sort of like out and about um, and traveling and whatnot, I don't have to take as many books with me. So, I'm gonna hit up Notion. That was far too much on there. I'm gonna hit up Notion and try and see if there's like a budgeting template. I made my own budgeting template on Notion and used it really well when I was busy for all those months and then just haven't done it since. So need to get back on that. 
is my plan because I've been using Notion more and more to plan everything out in my life. So I'm hoping if there's like a budgeting template, that will also work. Also on a side, when I do actually wear makeup, which is like at most once a fortnight, I've got like the sponges to put it on now, not my fingers. So it looks a bit less blotchy than this. So that is the plan with that. Just to save as much money as possible really, so that when we can legally go traveling, like properly traveling, I have money to do that. Also my nose in this is just such a state because of doing all the lateral flow tests, I have like a slightly delicate right nostril anyway, but with doing all the lateral flow tests, it just made my nose bleed so much. So it's just like a constant state of bleeding, but now it's beautiful. I've been, I've been, I've been putting loads of Vaseline on it and it's, it's worked. So the last thing, I always do this last, mascara last because otherwise if I do mascara earlier on I just get it everywhere when I'm doing my cheek stuff. So that is the grand old plan for the reset. It's Monday morning. I've so far it's not Monday morning, that's an absolute lie. Echo, what time is it? It's 1 pm. It's 1 pm, it's absolutely not the morning. But this morning I have been to the gym. It's really busy actually. It's bank holiday Monday but it's really busy and walk to and from the gym to try and get more steps in and i've done quite a bit of reading this morning as well i say quite a bit i've done like half an hour of reading and my plan for later on today is to go blackberry picking meet up with some friends and start a plan on master's stuff okay so this is the finished look this isn't the finished hair look i'm not going to do anything with it just let it air dry because i'm using moroccan oil curly hair something at the moment um, and it makes it smell really nice and it curls up really nice this was pre curly girl method. I don't have curly hair at the moment because I blow dried it yesterday, which I'm not meant to do. Well, like airbrush, no, what do they call it? That Revlon, like it's like a hot brush thing. I did that yesterday, so it's still, it's still like this. But anyway, this is pre curly girl method, so. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm hoping it's gonna inspire me to get started with setting goals more in life, getting prepared for the masters. I'm planning to vlog quite a lot of masters stuff and university stuff. So um, stick with me whilst I try and navigate myself through master's life. So that was my sort of, oh, now you can see the giraffe on the floor. Now, yeah, I had a little visitor the other day um, who was furry and is a spaniel. And he, he left his giraffe out and I've not put it back yet. Yeah, so that was my get ready with me video. I think I've done quite a lot of the life sorting things. Some of the things were, just not doable, like walking 10,000 steps a day on a broken foot, it's probably not gonna make it heal. But there's, there's some things that I'd still like to do, like the mindfulness. I keep saying I'm gonna do mindfulness, I keep saying I'm gonna do journaling. I just, I haven't done either yet. I, I need to, because I feel like it would really benefit me. So thank you very much for joining me on this video. On this video? Maybe. Um, I hope it just shows that I would say I'm a very organised person and follow plans through well. However, I haven't done half the things in this video. So I think you need to set more like realistic goals for yourself. To be fair, I did quite a lot during the last term, but I think it's a balance between being productive, getting stuff done and like thriving with also letting yourself like rest a little bit and not having unrealistic expectations on yourself. So yeah, I don't think I've done a recent goals video which I may do. I was gonna do a New Year's resolution video, but it's like, when I'm filming this, it's like the end of Feb. So it's not really New Year at all. I've got a lot of New Year's resolutions in my bullet journal, so I could go through that. Oh, I am actually using bullet journal now, but it's the dot cross planner. So it's like half filled in. I may do a review on it sometime, because I do really like it. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this slightly rambly reaction video. I don't know if any of the goals have inspired you. They've inspired me to do what former Megan was planning to do. Don't know if it'll happen, but yeah, there we go. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.